and welcome to another video. I know the last couple videos have been like kind of heavy on information. So I wanted to do a video that was more just fun and very real life um, to I think what we all experience. And first, can we just take a moment to appreciate my shirt? It says tequila the Spanish word for I don't remember doing that is that not life I do not drink but when I saw this shirt I had to have it cuz I'm one of those word snobs that whenever there's a definition anywhere on a shirt on a mug on a plaque I must have it so um, that is not here nor there. I am going to give you my five top things for of being in a wheelchair. Why I love being in a wheelchair. And I am going to acknowledge that yes, our wheelchairs give us the freedom to do things that we would otherwise not be able to maybe accomplish or do physically because of fatigue or muscle pain or whatever okay that aside these are five fun things that i love about my wheelchair in no particular order and we're going to do this rapid fire and maybe we can do this with no cuts so pray for me guys one my wheelchair always means that I have a comfortable spot to sit and I never have to worry about fatigue okay guys I've already failed we're gonna start this from the beginning the first thing that I love about my chair is that I bring it everywhere I don't have to worry about being tired and not having a place to sit. I don't have to worry about, oh, we need to get another chair for Mindy. Nope. Nope. I bring my chair everywhere and that's just me. Number two, I love going shoe shopping because number one, your chair, if it's fitted right, is the most comfortable spot, at least for me, to put on shoes. Because everything is measured properly, you can reach everything, it's so simple. But, to add to all of this, when you go into a shoe store, at least as a, as a, as a girl, as a woman, as a lady, in a chair, and you mention that you want shoes of this type or whatever, the shoe person like lights up. You are making their month because they get to say that they help someone in a wheelchair. So they will bring out all of the stuff to you. Put one on one foot, one on the other foot. I have never had more exemplary shoe person service and I am in and out of there within 20 minutes. Awesome. Love it. And I don't have to worry about like styles and balancing and oh, you know this dreadful. Number three, I have the most wonderful ability to just show up and be unique because they already see like I'm already standing out so if I'm going to stand out I'm going to stand out you know like I was made different so girl I'm gonna be different I'm gonna have funky hair I'm gonna have cool sayings on the back of my chair and yes my chair looks way different from the back than anyone else's chair. I'll show you. Let me see. 
I don't know if you can. Oh, you can't even see it because my back is so low. But my back is actually tilted in like a whole lot because I'm accommodating for my the curve in my spot. So people think how can that be comfortable but honestly it can be super comfortable because it's uncomfortable if you're just sitting flat back like this and then you have a curve that is not supported. So three, being unique. Four, the, the, the most wonderful thing about being in my chair, it opens up conversations. People will say like, hey, how did you get that like cup holder that like matches your chair? And I can tell them, well, it's a, it's a bike cup holder and I got it at Canadian Tire. I'm sure they still have it. Like, you know, or any hardware store. Um, Canadian Tire is what we have in Canada. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I can do all kinds of cool DIYs with my chair, and they open up conversations. And the chair itself, it's just a frame with some wheels on it. But it's so different to so many people and I think a lot of people are scared of the chair so to have somebody to make it fun to make it inviting who is fun and inviting all of a sudden the chair becomes normalized and I, I like talking to people unless I'm like in a hurry but I like talking to people and telling them little bits and bobs about disability because how else are we going to learn as people? Like, I am the biggest proponent of ask me questions and I will tell you no lies. So number five, the fifth thing I love about my chair is it's versatile. I can use it to... I'm sorry cat mom moment you guys people people four-legged people are deciding to run around my filming area I can easily like get on a bus and get to where I'm going or someone can throw it in the back of their van their truck their car and I can get somewhere else or you know go and do an activity or go to someone's house and it's like at least with a manual chair right now it's very easy for me to you know hop up like a step or a little what would you call that threshold and all of a sudden I'm in their house and I'm just as much me as I, w I, as I would be standing up, but they don't have to worry about me as much as they might because I'm sitting down. And most of my friends have totally accepted my chair and they have known me from when I was primarily walking and when I used a, uh, and when I used a walker more, and when I used crutches, and now with the chair, and I think they can tell you that I truly am much a different person, and as some of them have seen the progression, they honestly don't care because I'm still the same me I still have the same voice and the same brain so I'm just their friend whether I'm sitting down standing up in a freaking yoga pose um, or you know in a different country I am still me 
So I think that is the other major thing I want to end on is whether I'm in my chair or not, and whether you're in your chair or in sitting on a couch or, you know, sitting in a recliner, you are still you. You, whether you use a mobility aid or not, whether you choose to do something or not, you are still you. You still have the same train, you still have the same personality. It doesn't matter whether you are sitting on a couch or in your chair or uh, in, a, in robot legs. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. What matters is that you are invited to the conversation, you are contributing to the conversation, and you are at the table having the conversation. And with that, guys, I am going to say keep pushing, and I will see you in the next video.